Just introduce yourself, name, position, where you're from. Uh, Demario Richard, Lancaster, California, running back, and uh, be a junior this year. Uh, just takes back two years to your signing day, 2014. What drew you to ASU and what made you want to come here? Uh, what drew me to ASU was um, <clears throat> obviously uh, a big role in uh, with DJ Foster. You know, having a relationship with DJ um, coming out. I was coming out here every every other weekend. You know, I was out here and. Um, the coaching staff, Coach Graham, was a was a great coach. You know, he called me every once in a while, and just being um, just being here and being around everybody in the atmosphere, even off the field, you know. So I was, it felt it felt just like home. So I mean, it was it was just the atmosphere, the coaching staff, the players, and everything felt like it was family orientated. And on the actual day itself, when you signed, was family out there? What just what kind of moment was that? Uh, it was a it was a great moment. Uh, uh, Coach Long, when Coach Long was here, he was actually uh, kind of blowing my phone up because the fax machine stopped working, you know. So he was uh, kidding my phone like, yo, what's up with the paper? What's up with the paper? I was like, it'll be there soon. Don't worry about it. I'm not going nowhere. And um, that was it. You know, it was just a, it was an exciting day for me and my family and friends and uh, obviously my, my old high school. So um, it was a great day, great experience. You know, Sundell family and brotherhood is a big part of the program. What about uh, – your relationship with Derek Hagan and being from Palmdale. And uh, me and Derek, you know, every time we come out here, we go out to either breakfast or breakfast or lunch. You know, we ch talk uh, talk all the time. You know, uh, he's uh, played a big role in me coming here, and um, I'm just glad I, uh, I got to follow behind his footsteps. And you know, I'm trying to be just as good as he was when he was here. So now, two years fast forward, you're gonna be a junior, one of the leaders on the team. How have you grown and matured since that day two years ago when you signed? Um, I've grown and matured a lot, you know. Um, uh, Coach Graham reminds me that all the time, and uh, just making, making even more like power moves and big moves when, when, when I'm not on the field, you know, uh, going out and helping out the community more, and um, just being here, being, being here, being helpful to the new people. That it's time I have to be more uh, vocal as a leader, you know, and um, just stepping up and. When my time is called, and even when it's not being called, just being there when somebody's falling for me, to, uh, for me to pick them back up. You know, just being a big time player and, a, and being a big time role model to everybody else, like the young guys on the team. What are you looking forward to? Spring practice starts in a little over a month. Uh, just to get better, you know, um, just to get better and get everybody around me better, you know, and um, helping everybody here who's at my position, who came in in the spring, and everybody on the offensive side of the ball came in the spring. Uh, get get their mind right and get their jaw set for what's being prepared for this season in the fall. Man, how's it been getting to know Coach Burns? I know he's been recruiting a little bit, but um, you know uh, he he he's a he's a good dude. You know, real good dude. Uh, me and him both are kind of hard to get in contact with. You know, when he contacts me, I'm either doing something for for school or I'm doing something for either Coach Graham or even doing something better myself. Or when I contact him, it's either late and they're on the road or. He's either asleep or doing some type of recruiting job. But, but when he, we, uh, we had a, about a good 30 minutes to an hour meeting yesterday. You know, great, great guy, great, um, great, great coach IQ. Um, he's always there for the players, you know, and um, I'm excited to see what he's bringing to the table for us this year. You've been tweeting at some of the guys that signed today and talking to some of the guys that are already enrolled in here. Just why is that important for you to do now that you're upperclassmen? And um, just to let them know that everybody here is a family, you know. We, we, it's always it's always eyes watching, even when you think nobody's uh, looking, you know. And um, I just want to make sure every, every, everybody's good, you know. Everybody's good, and where where we stand, and where everybody else stands here, and um, just making sure the recruits are comfortable, making sure the recruits uh, uh, have somebody they can fall back on, with, who will make time out of their day just to go help them, you know. No matter where they are, especially especially kids that are here and. Um, in Arizona, so uh, that's just I'm just playing, being the leader that I'm supposed to be, and uh, stepping up and taking over the road at Burko and DJ and Jordan and everybody else left here, you know, just step up and um, being a big, big time leader for this team. Thanks.